Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make these enchilada stuffed zucchini boats. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. Let's get started with these easy zucchini boats. So the recipe calls for four medium zucchini, but right now I only have three, so that's what we're going to go with. But when you, the written recipe is four and that is correct. So to get our zucchini boats ready, to get our zucchini prepped for a zucchini boat, you're going to want to cut them all in half lengthwise. So just very carefully cut them in half and you don't have to remove the, the end, stem end if you don't want to. So after we cut them in half, we're going to scrape out the seeds in the center. So I just take a spoon and just cut it out like, scrape it out with this you know, good size spoon. Just make a nice divot, get all of those seeds out of there. And what you'll notice, since we're removing the seeds, that's where most of the water is. So you will notice that this recipe does not get watery. So we're gonna lay these on our sheet tray that we have lined with aluminum foil. You're gonna wanna make sure you get enough out of there so you have a good amount of room left for your filling. Okay, we've got our zucchini boats all made. You can save the, fill, the, the seeds that we scraped out. You could save these for a different recipe. You could saute it with some other vegetables and some meat and make a, another recipe with it. Okay, the filling is super simple. All it is is I cooked a pound of ground beef that I seasoned with salt and pepper and I'm just gonna pour in a cup of enchilada sauce. And if you wanted to make these spicy, you could add in some cayenne pepper, but the enchilada sauce is very, very flavorful, so you really don't need a whole lot of extra flavors unless you just really want it. So we're gonna stir the enchilada sauce into our ground beef. I'm gonna season the insides of the zucchini with salt because just to give them some flavor. You don't want bland zucchini. And also some pepper. Okay, now we can fill our boats with our filling. Now I'm gonna to top these with a cup and a half of shredded cheese. I'm not gonna use all the cheese because I'm missing a zucchini, but you would use all of your cheese. Now, how amazing do these look? They're ready for the oven. They're gonna bake in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes to test to see if they're done. They will pierce easily with a fork. The zucchini will pierce easily with a fork right around the stem area. Okay, our zucchini are finished cooking. We put them on this really pretty platter. So how good do they look? They smell amazing. So I'm gonna finish them off with some diced tomato. Just, it's not required, you know, it's just to make it pretty. And some cilantro. But how pretty is that? Look at that, that is so pretty. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure you check out this recipe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.